The 2012 Cooperative School of Christian Mission was held at Central Methodist University in Fayette, Missouri. The theme for the school was that they may have life, taken from John 10.10, where Jesus proclaimed, I came that they might have life and have it abundantly. The art on the cover of the program book painted by Faye Abrams from Union Memorial United Methodist Church depicted the three study topics as Christ's other sheep, which included the people of Haiti, people living in poverty, and immigrants, refugees, and migrants. No, no, don't go in. I need to see your photo ID. Students attending Bruce Jeffrey's class on immigration and the Bible were a little taken back when they had to present a photo ID to get into class. Those who were not carrying such identification had to wait outside, at least for a little while. The youth having been told that they were living in Haiti, where there had just been a massive earthquake, were given pieces of cardboard, sticks, and a bit of rope with which they were to build shelters for sleeping outside. Almost immediately, one of the youth reflected, We've only been at this ten minutes and already we're complaining, reminding themselves that the people of Haiti have been at it now for two years. The youth gathered around Jeff Baker, who told them about how they might be able to purify the water they needed to drink. The School of Mission was a cooperative effort between the United Methodist Women, led by Mabel Unser, and the Creative Ministries team led by Franklin Walker. Sally Holston served as this year's dean. A very special guest this year was Yvette Richards, national president-elect of the United Methodist Women's Organization. Children, youth, and adults of all ages were included, and for the first time this year, there was a class especially for young adults. Those who wanted to ride back and forth to class were able to do so. With art by the youth, two of the golf carts soon became Haitian tap-taps. The weekend was essentially a time to study about mission in a classroom setting led by very well-trained study leaders. Yet every day began with morning watch worship, and every day concluded with vespers. The Vespers, led one night by the youth, presented a little more activity than the rest. For some there was swimming, all kinds of fun games, blowing bubbles, craft activities, and much more. Everyone enjoyed mealtime fellowship. A flash mob broke out during one of the meals. People left with a good understanding of the country and the people of Haiti and a greater empathy for people living in poverty and for immigrants, refugees, and migrants. Many left dedicated to finding ways to make things better. They also left counting the days until July 25, 2013, when they will gather again for a similar event, but with an entirely different name. Next year, they will come together for Mission U.